Hi there, I'm the weather girl for the 2011 Atlantic Cup and I'll be providing some weather information for the upcoming offshore race. Already we can look at the long range forecast and get some idea of what the sailors are going to experience. If we look at the synoptic picture for Saturday, we can see an area of high pressure centred over the Gulf of Mexico in Florida. That's going to give moderate westerly flow across the race area for the start. But further west, we see an area of low pressure developing over the Great Lakes and that's going to move east over New York by Sunday morning. This is going to shift the moderate westerlies to much stronger southerlies and that wind shift will be a critical part of this race. Alright, let's have a look at the race course. On this screen you can see the black line which represents the straight course between the three parts of the race. The start in New York Harbour, the turning mark at Barnegat Island in New Jersey and the finish at Newport, Rhode Island. Now over this chart we can overlay the weather and now you can see the expected wind field pattern for the start of the race. Now the straight line, the black line, is not necessarily the fastest way to sail this race. We can calculate what an on-par boat should do for this race. That is represented by the red line. Now an on-par boat is like golf, it's like an average performance. So you want to sail faster than on-par to win the race. However, we can get a feel for what the race is going to be like for this on-par boat. Following the red line, we can see an on-par boat would sail down the New Jersey coast and get to the turning mark at about 10pm on Saturday night before they turn to the northeast and sail downwind under those strong southwesterlies. That's going to be a wet and wild ride for the sailors over some pretty cold ocean. So they're going to have a lot on. However, given this forecast, this is going to be a fast race and we can expect the fastest boats to be into Newport, Rhode Island on Sunday afternoon. However, there are finer tactical decisions to be made, such as should the boats stay offshore in New Jersey or should they hug the coast? When they get to Block Island, should they sail to the west or to the east? Now these decisions will be determined by the up-to-date forecast. So tune in on Friday night when I will give you a more accurate forecast that will give you some idea of what boats need to do in order to win the inaugural Atlantic Cup. This is Weather Girl out.